Hey everyone, Jake with Campbell here. And you know, two of my favorite things are vinyl records and coffee. And I'm gonna combine those two in this do-it-yourself video project. So I have some bookshelves that I use for my 33 and a half RPM records, but what I really needed was something for my 45 RPM records that they could be stored in uh, without getting damaged. I was at Menards the other day and I found a wooden crate right there that's just like that. Uh, it was unfinished so I sanded it down uh, very nicely so it's very smooth and these just fit right into that wooden crate and can be stacked in there. But another thing I did is I, I don't know if you can see this, I created a, um, a reproduction of a label for 45 rpm records the old uh, sun records it says uh, blue suede shoes carl perkins it's a classic old track from sun records i wasn't so happy with this because one thing it doesn't match the the dark wood that i have for my shelves for the stand table that i have for my turntable i wanted something so it would match a little better and I had the idea I saw that you could do a coffee stain, since I do like coffee. I'm thinking about staining this with coffee, but also doing something a little different than that, because it's okay, but I wasn't just totally pleased. So I, I have an idea from something I did in an art class, a mixed media class, that I'm gonna try on this. So uh, let's go ahead, we'll get started and see what we can do with this. Okay, well after some trial and error, I think I have this uh, pretty good, pretty good stain. Uh, one thing I discovered is because when I when I first got this, I, I didn't wasn't thinking I was going to stain it, so I put some uh, some wood glue on onto it, and and because of that, the stain doesn't go very good on the wood glue. But as you can see, it's all for the most part for the most part looking. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. I just had some old coffee that uh, had gone stale because uh, I forgot I had it. And so I just used that and took my French press and made, made this. Okay, so now that I have this, I want to decorate it, uh, but I can't do that just right now. Reason being, because during this uh, pandemic that we're having, I can't go to the art store to pick up anything and Amazon's taking a week to ship, but I got some acrylic uh, medium coming. And so that's what we're gonna use to do some transfers onto the wood. And so in the meantime, what we're gonna, I'm gonna do is just, since I have some time to spare, I'm going to just throw around some ideas uh, of what I like to put on here. So let's, let's jump on the computer and I'll show you what I got. Okay, well here we are on my iMac. Um, my tool of choice that I use, because I know how to use it, is Photoshop. Uh, you can use whatever you need to to get the job done. But what I've done is I, I, took a, I took a photo of the crate after I stained it like that. And then I laid a, a record, a 45 RPM record, on top of the crate, kind of lined like I would want it, and, and took a photo. So that's it on top 
of the crate. And then I, I cut it out. I used some uh, layer masks just to kind of see what it would do if I cut out uh, where the handle is in the bottom. Just so I get an idea of how I'd want a, a, a record or a design of a record to look on, on a crate like that. And then based on that, I then went and took some design elements and put together a design. And so you can see I did some design elements. So it's actually going to be an illustration. Part of it will be just black and white uh, clip art. And then the label of the blue suede shoes on top of that. So that's kind of my idea of how I want it to look when I put it onto that crate. But also, I decided I'd add just one little thing up in the corner, 45 RPM, just because I thought that'd be kind of cool to, to signify that this is a, a 45 RPM records inside this crate. So now I have my idea of what I want to do. I needed to then put it together in something that I could print. I did this. This is a basic design. I have a, two of them in the blue suede shoes. And I have Honey Don't be front and back. I want to do side A, side B on the front and back of the, the crate. And the size I did for this, because you know the 45 RPMs are supposed to be 7 inch records. They're not exactly 7 inch, so I kind of just came up with a number. And here it looks like we're doing 6.877. And so that's that's going to be roughly close to the size of of the 45 RPM records. And so you want to print the size and you could probably do this in Word. You can figure it out to make it print the right size. I just know in Photoshop when I do it, when I print this, it's going to print exactly the size that I have set this at. And so I have those. I also have did my little 45 RPMs. I did those in Illustrator and then took it back over into Photoshop. You could probably, you could size it in Illustrator and print it, but I just like to, to do it in Photoshop. There's uh, two of them because front and back, so I put those on there. Uh, I think I did those about an inch and a quarter wide. Now, one thing you're going to want to do when you do this, you don't want to print it like this because if you print it like this, it's going to be backwards on your on your project. So you need to go and you need to uh, reverse it and do a mirror image. Same thing with the 45 RPMs. You're going to want to reverse those as well. And so it's a mirror image. So you're going to print it like that backwards. You're going to print that backwards. You're going to print both of them, both sides. So everything you, that you're going to put with this technique has to be printed backwards. Okay, well, that's it.
Hey, here is the final result. You know, it was a long journey with some unexpected twists and turns, but I think the mishaps made the final outcome even better. You know, I discovered that water and acrylic will cause the coffee stain to wipe off. So if I do this again, I plan to apply the clear coat sealant right after I stain the, the wood with coffee so as to seal in the stain. Then I should be able to apply the acrylic medium onto the wood without having any issues. Uh, I also learned that light colors such as yellows and reds, they do not do well when transferring to stained wood. So next time I do something like this, I'm gonna make sure I use darker colors when doing this acrylic transfer technique. Uh, besides that, I am very pleased with the outcome of this project. So here's the side A, blue suede shoes. Here is the side B, honey don't. So uh, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below and uh, I'll check back with you. And if you made it this far into my video, you are a super duper awesome person. Thanks for watching. You know, it took me a lot of time and effort, not only to work on this project, but also on making this video. So would you do me a favor? Would you like and share this video and then subscribe to my channel? You know, I plan to make some more videos like this, entertaining videos, and so I hope you'll just join me along for the journey. Now, now that I'm done with this project, it's time to go spin some records. So uh, I'll see you on the flip side.